right now, a lot of the YouTube groups, a lot of the YouTube channels are run by entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs tend to just, we call it like the uh, shiny ball syndrome or whatever, where you, you start one thing and then you get excited about something else. And right now is this time period where a lot of the people on Merch have been on Merch for a couple years, and they're all starting to do different things. So anyone who's new to Merch, or even if you've been in Merch for a long time, you're one of two categories. You're either listening to people who are getting tired of Merch, or you yourself are getting tired of Merch and interested in something else. And I just want to remind everybody just how big this opportunity is and just how early we are in the cycle of it. The whole night, I was like, my God, this, I mean, the same platform, two different results. And I remember when we started he, around the same time, but he took a different strategy. That's why it's very important the strategy that you take will define your end results. That's why this is something that I'm, I'm exploring, I'm experimenting, and I'm sharing. So take note of it. Just as Mike decided to do B2B, to B2B, if I had started back in the days, who knows? Maybe even with 10K a month, that would be fine. <laughs> Facebook pages, organic reach is dead. You gotta pay. You gotta pay, you gotta pay. Facebook groups on. Facebook loves groups. Loves groups because groups are community, this interaction. Facebook loves groups. Facebook doesn't like pages. Pages are Facebook's cash cow. They are businesses saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. And Facebook say, yeah, all right, we'll look at you, but you've got to pay for it. Didn't used to be like that, but it is now. Facebook groups are not. Facebook looks at groups like, oh, this is an interactive community. They are actually enjoying their time spent in this group, so they'll, sp they'll spend longer on Facebook. And then when they spend longer on Facebook, they can show more ads, which makes Facebook more money. The user's happy, Facebook's happy, everybody's happy. So organic engagement in groups is fire right now. And obviously, offer them discount. Um, you can put that discount code to Hack and Slip, you can email them, or you can tell them, this is not my idea, one of my customers' idea, you can tell them, Send your picture and take me. I mean, it's, it's beautiful social marketing. It's amazing. I mean, they will take you and they will do your promotion for freely. It's beautiful. There are lots of things. And the last thing about branding, sticker. People, you were talking about it. People love stickers. I hate stickers. I don't use this. But people love it. Send them some stickers inside the package. Or, if you want better branding, tell your... Uh, POD guy to get those stickers and put those on the postal bags. Simple. Now you are different. Simple things. Six, only six topics. You can change the shape of your brand to a proper brand. And it will cost you nothing. It's not too much money to do that. You need to ask yourself, whenever you see a joke, whenever you see a t-shirt, whenever you see, um, could be a viral post or Facebook or whatever, a meme, what's, what's the conflict, where's the contrast? Um, here's an example, this is one I just snapped in Seattle when I was there. Um, it was in a card shop, it says ghouls just want to have fun. Uh, you know, it's a pun, everyone recognizes, I, I imagine you recognize girls just want to have fun, but we've replaced goo girls with ghouls, now it's a funny pun, now we can put it on greetings cards, now we can use it to market products, whatever. Um, so ghouls just want to have fun, if we break this down, Ghouls, obviously, substitute for girls, and then you've got the rest of the phrase, just want to have fun. It works, and it's funny, and it creates a response, because people are expecting it to say, girls just want to have fun, but it says, ghouls just want to have fun. I know I'm kind of teaching it to suck eggs, but it's really that basic. But if you apply this and look at like other things, you know, you can, you can follow the, the, the framework through. And once you, once you spot something like this, you can then um, figure out this. So replacing girls with ghouls, can be funny, so what are the phrases, what are the idioms, what are the song lyrics containing the word girl? Why is branding such a big deal? Well, first of all, first and foremost, because it's like building an actual brick and mortar business in that it's a sellable digital asset. And so you're not just building something that can be taken away from you. 
um, you own it. It's your sandbox, so to speak, and um, and it's uh, it's an asset that you can sell for quite a bit of money, even in the very early on stages of brand development. Um, also, you build a brand because you get more control back. You get control over things like your time. Um, when you have a brand um, and you've worked out the systems to automate it and um, to outsource the pieces that you don't enjoy, the whole point is to build a more flexible lifestyle for yourself and to take control of time. Today, I'm going to talk just a little bit about how you can utilize your Merch by Amazon designs for KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing. So first of all, just a little bit about me. I am from, my name's Luke, I'm from Essex, and I started online back in 2013 um, after university as I was fed up with working for other people that, well, didn't really have a clue what they're doing, as I'm sure many of you can relate to. Um, I started off with absolutely no design background. Um, it was a case of merely creating simple text-based designs on sites such as Cafe Press and Spreadshirt. 